Hey guys, Craig here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. In the previous episode, we did what has been put down by fans as to the hardest Super Mario Sunshine shines yet. And I died twice altogether in that episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on by finishing getting the remaining shine sprites of the plaza and the airstrip. So yeah, there's only three more shines I think left. Yes, there's only three more shines left. And something bad before you go into this level is... <coughs> the fact that we only have a rocket nozzle. Not our, ho our hover nozzle, which could be far more helpful. But yeah, all I'm going to say is... A tip for this level is... Defeat every enemy you can. Also, I want to talk to this guy. I have been searching for Red Bird of Happiness for some 38 years now, and yep, it's been a long, long road. Thing is, I've been feeling lately that I'll never catch up with it. Quite depressing if you think, but he probably, let's be honest here, this guy probably had the same fear as us, was exploring, ex fell into a pipe, and he fell, and he just fell to his, in here, probably just searching for 38 years to find the red coins to get out of here. Be honest here, is that what happens to everyone in here? Cause, jeez Louise. And if you clean this guy's back, finds a bundle and we get a red coin. The tip for this level, in my opinion, is to battle and defeat every enemy you see because they all drop red coins. I remember when he was talking about the red bird of happiness, something I should probably point out is the fact that this is the only red bird in the game and I think everybody can guess what it does since blue birds drop blue coins, yellow birds drop um, shine sprites and you know green birds drop coins just normal coins yes as you can guess whenever we defeat it it will drop a red coin spoilers well not real <laughs> I don't really see how it would be a spoiler. Oh my god, it drops a red coin. That's how I get this remaining red coin. Come here, red bird of happiness. So I wonder if that guy is literally... If that guy was here because of just the red coins. Because let's be honest here, why else would you be in here? It's just a cube. He's been trapped in a cube from probably around half of his pianta life, depending on how long. How long do piantas live for? Are they like, I'm not sure. Trees live for a long time. Pianta means tree in Italian, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't do Italian. I just heard it somewhere. And it would make sense since, you know, piantas have trees in their heads and all. But here we go. We caught that red bird that he could never catch. And we're going to leave without him because that's who, that's the type of people we are. Uh, yeah, just, if you drop down here, there's a red coin, but you want to be extremely cautious whenever you get it. Because you can easily jump off the edge of the level. And I don't know why, I think that the remaining guy is an enemy. The remaining red coin is an enemy. Yep, there we go. And with that, we got... And it's not really a tedious shine sprite. Si shine sprite, I almost said. Shine sprite. But this is one of the better ones. Also, I just realized so I didn't finish my story about um, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam about five episodes ago. <laughs> my story really is the fact that it's coming out soon. I'm going to be doing a road to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. You might be like, oh my god, you're just doing that for all the monies and all. I'm not sure. Oh wow, I just realized something which is really bad. I was leaving a couple of shine sprites to later, but I forgot to go back and do them. Well, not really. I guess I'm leaving these till the, for the final ones. But either way, if you spend this thing, you get a coin. And what do you do whenever you get a coin? You talk to this chuckster guy here. Why do you throw me a coin? I'll throw you for a loop. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and away you go. I want to get thrown. That has happened to me before. I don't get why it happened. But luckily now I think we can just jump in. 
What's supposed to happen is that we get chucked in here. That did not happen. We got chucked to it and didn't go for it. As you can guess, yeah, you are supposed to just go right through here. But I can just easily jump through here. And there's only two more Shine Sprites off Delphi. I was wondering, I was kind of worried and I was wondering myself, where are the Shine Sprites I haven't gotten? Because <laughs> I was wondering what Shine Sprites I haven't gotten. I think I was going to do this first level episode, but eh, what are you going to do? These were actually one of my first ever Shine Sprites I collected in this game. Because let's be honest here. You just go explore Delphino Plaza. And talk to this guy. Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win a prize. You want to try? Yeah. So yeah. Now we can just go for a Delph this thing doing a box breaking competition. I'm going to just decide one of John Conroy's brilliant lines. <laughs> but mightier than cardboard. <laughs> Which just kind of, you know, just says everything. Pretty, it's not too hard, Alan. That was great, you're the best. But yeah, I did have 7 seconds remaining out of 30, I think it was. And so yeah. Yeah, again, once again, the flipping police taking out the wrong people. Because not only is he holding one Shine, spr spr shine Sprite while we are going out break, doing it all and getting put in jail for you know, taking them all or something. No, he holds two. Also, I want to show up, mention something which I think everybody noticed. From the start of the game, look how much brighter Delfino Plaza's gotten with more shine sprites. Because flip me, it's gotten so much more. He holds two. Break all the kids so in 30 seconds for yourself win a prize. So yeah, this one is actually a bit easier in my opinion. It might be a bit harder first try and I'm doing a bit worse actually. Because, you know, well, once you get one, yeah, it, you just basically have to break four crates in this. And yeah, with, with feeling I got in the same amount of time, another easy shine sprite. The, what did I do in this episode? I got three shine sprites, I think. Um, you know what, before we end it off, I'm going to just collect ten normal coins and you may be wondering why. The reason we're going to be earning 10 normal coins is because I am just going to be collecting because for the next episode we are going to need 10 coins and I was half expecting there just to be 10 easy coins to collect here. Here we go just collect these coins here 9 and once we get out of here It'll be 10, because there's one, there's one easy coin just to get, and we already, I already showed off this episode. It's up here, actually no, we can just get burnt, but I think, actually no, on my way, the way I'm talking about it's probably easier. Because <laughs> for what I want to do next episode, I, you need to get 10 normal coins, so I do recommend you just go get the coins before, you know, just, well, no, I, don't recommend it, you have to get it. It's essential. But with that, thank you guys all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, see you guys all next time. We're going to be getting the 100 coin star of Delfino Plaza. Plus, we're going to be going back to the area we have been since episode 1. Yes, I mean VR strip. So, hopefully, see you guys all then. Bye.